I'm Andrew Deshery and welcome to the One Aquaponics Horticulture Display. It's the 15th of January today, it's the hottest year on record in South Australia, actually hit 45 today in this region and 47 up in the Riverland region. But I just want you to come in and have a look at what we're doing and some of the different systems that we're using to keep the shade house cool. First thing of course is we've got a bit of shade from the trees that's uh, behind me etc. But uh, even at 4 o'clock four o'clock at the moment, uh, it's still fairly hot. So let's have a look at the thermometer, see how hot it got today, and let's have a look inside the plant house. All right, I'm just gonna grab the thermometer, let's have a look. We've got there 43, 43 degrees at the moment, 60 degrees we got due today and last night was 16.5 in here in the greenhouse as our minimum. So there's quite a big temperature range that uh, happens in here. But as you can see, if we just have a quick scan around, you can see pretty much everything is quite happy. Uh, we've got a little bit of, we'll, we'll move over there in a second, but we've got a little bit of uh, tired beetroot there. I picked some beetroot the other day and uh, attacking the roots like that didn't help. But as you can see, everything else is nice and lush and still going well. Nothing's wilted or dried out. And we're in a, in a full hot house that we use for production here in South Australia. What we do put in is these shade cloths like this so we can pull over the plants and keep the direct sunlight over. And even though it's fairly hot, most of that heat stays above this shade house cloth here. We've got open shade house sizes which is bug mesh proof as well. That allows some breeze to come through but most of that heat goes out and through the ventilation that's up the top there. Alright, so let's have a look here. You can see just the beetroot. Just the beetroot's a little bit sad today. As I said, I cut some beetroot out the other day for cooking, and it's going on the table tonight, but uh, attacking some of those roots and pulling some of those beetroots out have caused it to stress a little bit today. But everything else, you can see the eggplants, as you can see with the, uh, the kale, etc. The lettuces, everything's still nice and green. Basils, all this is nice and green. In fact, today, we've seen some amazing growth in the Swiss chart today because of the heat that we've got. The beans that usually are fairly tired when it gets hot, there's a little, little tiny bit of uh, root tip burn, a little tiny bit, but the rest of the plant's pretty good. As is with the, the uh, cucumbers here, a little bit tired, but not too bad. Nothing burnt out, and the cucumbers are growing well today. Tomatoes are growing well. We've got our uh, capsicums coming through now, which is uh, coming through with this heat that we've got. We've got some cucumbers now starting to come through. So you can see those ones there. And generally, everything's pretty good. Let's have a look at the fish, see how they're going. On the way through, we've got strawberries that are just flowering now. We're getting some strawberries that are coming through, just starting to get some flush of strawberries coming up now. Everything's nice and green, beans are coming through. There's some white flies coming today, it's probably cooler in here than outside. And hopefully, oh, we've got some. Uh, some aubergines just starting to come through now. Let's have a look at the fish, see how they're coping today. We can, we can look through the window. They're pretty happy swimming around. In fact, I'll give them a feed in a minute and uh, give them their afternoon supper. All right, that's all for today, but thanks very much. As you can see, even with hot temperatures, if your system's designed right and you've got the right shading systems, etc., in, then uh, you can keep the temperatures down. And even with a lot of heat, as long as that water is cool, and this water's probably about 29 degrees at the moment, a little bit warm for lettuce, but as you can see, if we have a look at the lettuce down here, there's no wilting or anything. So, worst thing is that they might get a little bit tough from a lot of the heat, but everything else thrives very well. Alright folks, that's all from me. See you later. Uh, my name's Max. Um, I've just sat through the uh, two days of aquaponics uh, training. I suppose from my point of view, you to see something that uh, seems to be so positive going forward um, for not only the environment but with water uh, growing up in an irrigation area, um, I found the course fantastic. Uh, yes, the um, course uh, content on the DVD, um, to work through that is, is so simple, so easy, step by step, you can pace yourself. Um, it has the advantage that I found very good in, in the fact that you can actually print out the notes and, and read them at a leisure as you're going through. Yeah, hello there, my name's Jeff, and uh, like Max, I've had the most two enjoyable days ever, I could say that without a doubt, on listing about aquaponics. I think I've become a bore with my friends telling them about this wonderful course, 
and they can't believe how sustainable it is, how uh, little land you need, and hardly using any water. It's the most sustainable thing that I've ever heard of. Um, the outcome is terrific, healthy veggies and fish. Mm -hmm.